Looking great. Yo, mothership, are are we even live right now? Okay. Let's crack them open. All right. All right, folks. Sorry about this. We've uh, been having some network issues. I think uh, home base has been uh, dealing with some issues around this evening, so it's causing a bit of trouble for us. But uh, we're gonna stick with you as best we can. See, so, yeah, Anna gets the opening pick here on Durag. Listen, I'm gonna push up the door now on the B side. Even with Durag going down early, it's important for San Diego to find an opening and create one quickly. As aggression has been their strongest suit to play against Cal State Long Beach. And the pistol rounds weren't looking that good for Long Beach, but now that they do have some money and are getting their weapons back, it is starting to look a little bit better for them. Yeah. Now it's a 3 to 3. Yeah, you saw the flip there. Great job. I Listen gets a kill. Exactly the fish it up, and then the spike goes down. Sly Dudo takes out Boop. This is looking like a completely different San Diego State team in the second half. The fire is lit and they are looking tremendous as they try to salvage this. Now, Phantom and Anarir will have to enter into the site here to try to get this as Phantom again gets tagged up. Anarir gets a kill on Roth. Listen, gets Phantom. It's going to be a jet mirror to handle things. Oh, and Anarir, does he have time for the defuse? It, it kind of sounds like it. We'll have to see though. Seems, into it. Yeah, he does. Got it. And rear with a 4K, clutching it out and stopping the momentum of San Diego State. Now two games or two rounds away from a Long Beach victory. One that felt almost assured at the beginning of this half. Now, maybe a little bit different. Maybe a little different mentality as uh, San Diego State team shows a lot more life than they had shown in the first half. Looking like they are not quite ready to be eliminated and out of these playoffs. And you and yeah, as you you did see in this, a lot of this gameplay that San Diego was playing more as a team. Yep. So we were there. able to see a lot of that. Ryan Zoom Rage takes a listen and then switches it back. Yeah, and that and that kill right there is so it's so important, I think. Rolf there able to respond and get the kill on Rising Rage right after Rising Rage got a kill. As you see, they push in on Asi, and no response here from Long Beach. So what does that mean? You get a plan. You get to settle down. You get to get into a coordinated effort, even as Phantom. But Phantom with two kills. Two kills. All right. All right. Well. Sh well, shoot. Uh. Well. Yep. Yeah. That. W from our side, we can see through the walls, and it looked like it was. Each shot was perfect. Yeah, the no, Phantom popping off there. I was saying that, you know, you get to set up, you get to run a play, and Phantom says, or I can just ult and kill two people. How about that? How about I just take two people out without ever even being in the site? How would that feel if you were San Diego State? And the answer is not great. And now it is map point, and this is and series point here for Long Beach. If they are able to get this done, if you see the operator in play, has been switched over. I can't see who's named to Phantom has now has the operator. And we have seen Phantom way. on the operator a couple times. Gee, you see Durag there gets an early kill on Anaria. That's great first blood. See the blaze storm is up as well. Cage trigger. Cage trigger. It's gonna come hot and heavy into the A site. Boop will have to respond. It's Ozzy instead who gets a kill on Listen, so that ult's out of play. Boop gets a kill on Sly Doodle. Turns around and takes out Rolf. AH is able to respond and gets a second as they shut down Ozzy around the corner. The spike will go down. We got a 2v2. That's your right. Turns, turns just as he sees Rising Rage as well, and Rising Rage is able to get that kill. Oh, there's AH. There's one more, and it's above him. Phantom with the operator. It's gonna be a peekaboo session. Ring around the Rosie, and it's Phantom. Phantom takes it. Phantom takes it. Gets is getting the G views, and Long Beach takes it. Thirteen five. What an amazing playoff game. There it I goes. I honestly didn't know Phantom was gonna get it with the with the operator. I understand the operator is a, is a wonderful weapon to use, but in such close combat, I didn't know if he's gonna be able to pull it off.
It was a high stress environment, but Phantom felt none of it. The weight of the world slides off his shoulders. Fresh after winning a, a round that they had no business winning uh, right before with that Hunter's Fury 2K and then stepping up there in the 1v1 with the operator, it's Phantom getting the kill and signifying the end of San Diego State Reds run here in the Immortal Bracket. They will be taken out and it will be uh, Cal State Long Beach moving forward into the semifinals where they will be going up against... Uh, I'm fairly sure, but uh, let me double check before I say this. Last I checked, it was uh, San Jose State up a map and uh, with a pretty sizable lead over San Francisco State as well. Uh, to be expected, the third and second seeded teams uh, in the Immortal Bracket, both very strong. But uh, we do know that it will be Long Beach against one of those teams. It will be Cal State Northridge going up against San Diego State Black in the semifinals of the Immortal Bracket. Uh, and we will catch you all on the other side of this break. Uh, I will be interviewing the captain of Cal State Long Beach. It'll be a little Long Beach to Long Beach connection. as We talk about that match and what happens just on the other side of this break. So you guys don't go nowhere.